Kelly here with Kelly Soroka Live with a video for how to celebrate the summer solstice. And so the summer solstice, the longest day of the year in the Northern Hemisphere, is upon us tomorrow. And it's during the week and a lot of times it's hard to celebrate something like this when it's during the a weekday and you um, it doesn't fall on a weekend when maybe you have time off or it's on a day when you have to work or a week you have to work or you know something that you just can't get to that day but remember the summer solstice is one day but it kicks off an entire season and so we are in the summer solstice season so these are things that you can do to celebrate the day of course um, on the summer solstice if you so choose but you can also keep these things in mind for things that you can do all during the summer and revisit them and come back to them during the summer until it changes um, until we get to the autumn equinox in September so just keep in mind that these are not things that you have to do on that specific day you can do it um, anytime after and it's great to have things to look forward to and to plan during the summer so these are things that you can do and you can find the link to my handy PDF in the comments so you can download the link and you can also find the um let the spread or these in, this information in my instagram feed and so i'll leave a link to that as well so let's get to what the things that you can do to celebrate the summer solstice now the first thing is a very traditional um, summer solstice bonfire. So if you're in a place where you can have a bonfire, it's a wonderful thing to do. You can have a fire, um, you know, a bonfire on the beach. You can have a bonfire if you live somewhere that you can burn outside. Um, you can also have a fire just in a fire pit. Um, and you can also light a candle inside your house. And it's just, any of those things are just as effective because you have that intention of celebrating the solstice and bringing that um, summer energy in and that solstice energy in. So whatever you choose to do, and again, this is something that you can do throughout the summer. You know, have a bonfire um, and you know, and renew that energy of the summer solstice. Um, number two, go for a walk or a hike. And this is something if you know it's really nice weather in your area or you have places around you that you can walk and hike. It can be just a short walk in your neighborhood. It can be you know a walk down the street um, to a park. Um, it can be a big hike in a national forest. Um, and so you, know, you can choose those things and scale it up or down for what you choose to do. But the point is, is just to be out in nature because going out for a walk or going out for a hike, you're out in nature and you're bringing, you know, you're connecting to that solar energy as you're outside. Then number three, cook up a summer menu. So you can definitely decide what it is that means summer to you. And some suggestions um, are, you know, having some salmon, um, grilled salmon, um, season it with um, herbs like rosemary or basil that you can use that, that grow plentiful in the summer and then maybe have some fresh bread and some honey, um, things that are very kind of traditionally um, solstice related. But then, you know, everyone has different ideas of summer and different ideas of ways to celebrate it. So if this is not something that definitely appeals to you, you could have, um, you know, substitute in vegetables that you like because vegetables are now becoming, I mean, most places very plentiful. You can go, you know, go to your local farmer's market, find out what's there, what's in season, what you like, and just have a nice summer meal. Um, number four, sit under a tree. Um, the ancient Celts revered trees, especially oak trees. And so if you have an oak tree near you or a tree that you can go out and just sit under, and all you have to do is go out and sit under the tree. And just sitting outside, sitting with nature, sitting with tree, this tree and feeling um, the energy that it has 
is you know something that will will be very solstice energy and connect you and this is something again that's great to revisit during the summer go to different trees or go to the same tree um, you know develop a relationship with a tree that's in your yard or a tree that's near you in your park um, the next thing is bring nature inside. So you can you know, bring something of nature. Um, you know, many times um, grocery stores um, or supermarkets will have fresh flowers, fresh cut flowers, and you can get them and bring them into your house. If you are near a place where you can safely um, cut flowers or you have them in your garden, you know, bring something inside. You know, it could be also a potted plant that you find um, at, you know, a local um, home improvement store or a, a nursery and you find a plant that you really like and you want to bring it home and bring it inside. So bringing that little bit of nature inside will help you kind of um, keep that solstice energy throughout the season. And number six, visit a garden or a park. And so these days there's lots of um, parks um, that you can visit around um, and even gardens that you can go to that are, you know, especially that have um, things that are growing and um, are very in season for now. And so it's, it's a very good time to visit a garden or a park because the things there that are in bloom um, are going to be you know, very seasonal things and it's going to feel very solstice energy. So, you know, it could be anything. It could be you know, your neighbor's vegetable garden. Um, it could be, you know, a park that's just down the street, you know, kids um, for kids and you can go and, you know, sit on the swing. Um, you know, anything that you can do, it could be a formal garden, um, you know, at a museum or something that's near you. So anything that will get you into that, that spirit. Um, number seven, set an intention for the second half of the year. So we're coming to the middle of the year, and if you remember way back in January, um, what are some of the things that you wanted to get done this year? What are some of the things that you set intentions for? Some, what are some of the resolutions that you have? Have you kept up with any of them? Did you make any then? Do you have an intention that you really are working towards and you want to renew that? So this is a great time to do that, to set an intention. It could be something that you um, worked on at the beginning of the year and kind of forgotten about or something that you've been working on and you want to make sure that you keep working on it um, throughout the summer and the fall going into winter. And it could be something new. It could be something that you thought you know, really got to this point of the year and this is something I see that I really want to get done in the next few months and set that intention to go forward. So it can be anything, um, but make sure that it's not, um, make sure it's something that you can work on over the next six months. Um, and if you need to, you can break it down into little steps and have something that you can do every month until, um, you know, now in December. And then the last thing is get a tarot reading. And as a tarot reader, I um, encourage you to get a tarot reading. And because tarot reading at this time of year is great. It will help set that intention for you if you want to set an intention. Um, and you can get some advice and guidance on you know, what's happened up to now and what you can look forward to, and what you maybe need to work on or you know what some advice or guidance um, that you can get for the the rest of the year so getting a tarot reading is a very good idea and i offer tarot readings and i offer tarot coaching where you can work on an intention over a two or four week period and so i'll definitely have a link to that in the um, comments below so these are the eight things that you can do to celebrate the summer solstice and again, if you can't do anything on the day of the solstice, you know, just take a minute um, to do something maybe just, um, you know, individually. Um, just take a few minutes um, to watch the sunrise or to watch the sunset or to just go outside and, you know, take a few breaths um, during that day. And then these are things that you can do to celebrate the day if you're able or that you can do all through this season because this is going to be, you know, a great um, start um, to a season. And, and as you do these things later on in the season, it will bring that solstice energy and back to you. So if you enjoyed this, make sure that you download um, the PDF that's below and have a great summer solstice season.